Hi students, we are now discussing question number 10 of paper 1 of physics of J Advanced 2022. So this circuit is given to us. All the resistance in this circuit is 1 ohm, which makes the question a bit easier. And the resistances have been labeled from 1 to 8. And we have been given two ideal batteries, the EMF of which are mentioned here. This one is having an EMF of 6 volt. This one is having an EMF of 12 volt. And then the option talks about the current through different resistances. So uh, there are four different resistances given in the four options. So we need to find current through these four resistances. So it basically means that it will help me if I solve the question in a manner that can enable me to find out current in any resistance of the circuit. So I'll have to proceed in that manner. Let's see what we can do. Okay, the first thing that comes to my mind is that uh, what we should do is we should label the point so that it becomes easier for us to talk about this circuit. So let me label this point as A, this as O, let me label this as B, let me label this as C and this as D. Okay, now uh, this circuit is symmetric about the line AOB or about a plane passing through AOB. So we can flip this circuit. We can flip the bottom half, the lower half of the circuit over the upper half so that C and D point merge with each other and then we can convert this circuit into a circuit like this. Let me draw it here uh, or maybe let me draw it at uh, the next page uh, here. I'll, I'll start doing things here. Again, I'll label the points A, O, B and we labeled the upper point as C and this point as D. So I'll keep the branch AOB as it is. Okay. So this point continues to be A. This is O. This is D. Uh, E2 was 6, I remember. Yeah. So this is 6 volt. This is 12 volt. Now I will draw the branch OC. And this branch OC is actually overlapping with OD. Now C and D points are merged together. So this point can be labeled as C also and D also. And the equivalent of R2 and R4. These two will become parallel resistances. So the equivalent will become half of these values. So that's 0 0.5 ohm. Similarly, R6 and R5, they are going to overlap with each other. So here again, the resistance is going to be 0 0.5 ohm. And similarly, R7 and R8 become parallel resistances. Okay, so the value can be written as 0 0.5 ohm. So this is the updated circuit or the modified circuit, okay, uh, which is still equivalent to the given circuit. Okay, so this is the situation. Now, keep in mind, guys, that whatever is current is flowing in this branch, let's say I1, the same current will flow in this branch AO, even in this circuit. And here we see that I1 will get divided into two equal parts. Let's say uh, I1 by 2 will go here and I1 by 2. How I can say that? Because of the symmetry. Okay. But when I see the same thing here, I will say that this branch is having the current I1. Actually, these two branches are shown together here. But we know that if we want to calculate current through R6 or R5, then what we should do, we should first we should first calculate the current through R3 and then half of that will become current through R6 and R5. So uh, this is what I'm going to rely upon. Similarly, if the current in this branch, in uh, OB branch, let's say it's I2, Okay, so if the current here, let's say if it is I2, then the current coming from here would be I2 by 2 and current coming from here would be I2 by 2. So again, here this current will be reflected as I2, but I know that if I want to calculate current through R7 and R8, then it will be half of the current flowing through R1. Okay, so that is what we are going to do. Also, notice that uh, if I draw the current flowing in this branch in OCD, like let's say if I draw the current flowing in this branch, let me give it an, another name I3. Though we don't need to give it another name, we can write I3 in terms of I1 by 2 and I2 by 2. But let's just for the sake of convenience, let me give it a name I3. Then I3 will flow in the lower branch also and here it will become 2I3. 
okay so remember how the currents are distributed in the original figure and how they will be distributed in the modified figure okay now notice that in this modified figure i can treat this resistance and this resistance to be connected in series as the same current or the same electrons will pass through this this resistance also and this resistance also so again if i modify my circuit one more time then i will replace this entire branch with a branch like this like i will keep one resistance only the value of which will be 1.5 ohm and i will keep a battery of 6 volt like this okay similarly i can do the same thing with the other branch i can replace the entire branch with one resistance instead of two the value of which will be 1.5 and we will have a battery of 12 volt like this so this circuit and this circuit are same and if i now write the currents okay if i now write the current here there is some current which is i1 let's say uh here there is some current which is i2 let's say here we have some current which is 2 i3 let's say so this is how the currents are flowing in this branch now this is just for our own understanding that i have named currents here but i'm going to solve this circuit uh, by point potential method so i will assume zero potential to be present at the, these points let me mark these points in green color so all these points have same potential which is zero which would mean that this points these points have a potential of 6 volt which would mean that these points have a potential of minus 12 volt and we don't know the potential of these points let's call that as vx so we will now try to find the value of vx and for that i'm going to write that the net outward current from this particular node which node c and d node okay that is zero and how do i write that i'm going to write vx minus vx minus this value which is 6 divided by this resistance which is 1.5 okay so plus so i have written the current flowing in this branch now the current flowing in the other branch that would be vx minus minus 12 upon 1.5 again as this resistance is 1.5 and then finally i'm going to write vx minus 0 divided by this resistance which is how much which is 0 0.5 okay so 0 0.5 equal to 0 now this equation has only one unknown and that is vx when you solve for the value of vx when you solve this equation you end uh, you end up getting vx equals to minus 1.2 volt now that we have the value of the potential of this point we can readily write the currents for example how much will be i1 i will directly write the value of i1 now okay i1 can be written as 6 minus minus 1.2 that means this minus this divided by 1.5 and this will turn out to be 7.2 divided by 1.5 which will be 4.8 ampere so i1 turns out to be 4 point so this branch is having a current of 4.8 ampere which means this will have a current of 2.4 ampere and this will also have a current of 2.4 ampere let's check out how many options we were able to confirm till now so this talks about like we have found out current through r3 r6 and r5 okay so r3 and r5 we have found out it uh, the options doesn't mention r6 and both of these options are coming to be true r3 is 4.8 we can check it here okay and r5 is 2.4 so both of these options are coming to be true now we are left with r1 and r2 okay now let's check what is r1 okay r1 is the current in this branch so that is the current uh what we are uh, that that is the value of i2 so i2 can be written as what i2 can be written as uh vx vx minus minus 12 upon 1.5 so this will become 12 minus 1.2 upon 1.5 so that's 10.8 upon 1.5 so how much will this be uh, this turns out to be 17.2 ampere 7.2 ampere okay so now we have obtained i2 also so if we have obtained the value of i2 this is 7.2 then the current in these two is 3 points so r7 and r8 it's 3.6 but the option doesn't mention r7 and r8 they do mention r1 which is 7.2 which is correct okay so this one is also correct now we are left with r2 r2 is this branch so this is i3 the current in this branch is 2 i3 
Okay, so two i three is equals to two i three is equals to zero minus v x divided by this resistance, which is point five. Okay, so this will become one point five upon two point five. Uh, upon point five, so this will become two point four, but that's the value of I three, a uh, two I three. So I three will be equal to one point two ampere, and if I check the options, so that is current through R two is one point two ampere. So even this is correct. Okay, so in this particular question, all four options are correct. So I hope you have understood the solution, guys. It was a pretty straightforward question. I would say a bit lengthy, but conceptually it wasn't complicated. I hope you enjoyed the solutions. Take care, students. Bye bye.